Jaisa Chidanan Parayan Live Relay Real Time Relay in English uh, the, this is the session of August 25th 2011 morning session after the break this is the question and answer session uh, and we have covered pages 135 of Aptawani 4 PDF uh, Jay Sachidanan let us just commence What would you like to ask? What would you like to ask? Whatever we experience through these five senses. That is, this is all talk about the experience that is experienced through the five senses. Is that not? Rajan is asking. Yes, whatever is experience and whatever is known is all through, all relative, is it not? So then he says, this is the borders of the relative. What does it really mean? So all mind, speech and body, actions, all the evidences, everything, is that all within the relative only? We know that uh, our real territory is on this side of the self. Whatever is, whatever is happening to you in through the experience and the conduct is all in the relative. The knower the knower is separate from the relative territory that is why he can say that I'm separate from it all when you have become the pure soul through the awareness and the conviction and so if something happens and so the pragna then tells you oh I entered into the relative and therefore you so our process of the separation has begun so in and in whatever situations and circumstances we follow the agnas and is the, is that all carry forward? Is there good? No, no, no. No, everything is, most of it is going to finish here. Only the five agnas are going to be carried forward in the next life. But in the relative, in, um, very little is remaining that will just remain by just the, just by blowing through, the action of blowing through the wind only, that's all. You see, the person who has sold the shop, even if he just, uh, goes into the shop afterwards to do a little bit here and there that he the in essence he has already sold the shop has he not we recognize that the moha the illusory illusion attachment is of file one only not of anyone else you should know you should not suffer at all it is not going to finish in one day but your purusharth of the separation and the remaining as the separate one should continue and wherever you miss out the five agnas, reset the five agnas, that's all. So in this relative knowledge, every, he says everything is happening. But you know, in discharge, the fruits will give their bitter or sweet fruits, will they not? Yes, we have, for us, the fruits of our, yeah, you know, so, some of them may be sticky and therefore it may take a little time or it may seem that it is taking a longer time. Next one is from Akshis. Next question. Uh, from Akshis, we when we began today this morning, he is saying it is said the relative religion is not natural. Real religion is natural. Now we are talking about the natural bliss. Many times we we bliss is our self. What is if our if it is part of us our own self then it doesn't have to happen right but it the way so the problem is that be out of wrong belief you always believe that jalebi was the one that gave you pleasure the sweet things in life was giving you the pleasure and now with the new as through the five agnas and the awareness of the five agnas if you remove yourself from this temporary pleasures and come as you extricate yourself from the temporary pleasures and you will experience that I am the abode of infinite bliss but as you as you settle the relative pleasures uh, then you will enter into the bliss of the self well, there is there is, 
it said there is there is the bliss of the self which is natural that is the experience of that and that is also the and and i there is the experience of also the knowledge and the vision of the s capital self but then what is the real definition of the bliss this is deepak bhai says that the result of remaining the knower k capital and the c or s capital is b capital bliss of the self is the result of the continuous state of the knowing and the state of the seeing is the bliss of the self and and you are aware then that this everything else is relative pleasure of pain and pain for 5 days you'll have to sit here in this adalaj hall you know in this heavy hot heat that is all penance why 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 are you doing why are you undergoing through the penance of this current parayan it is because you want to because you want you are experiencing the bliss of the self as you are listening to the sentences of the gnani purush dadashri and as you are entering into his reign and domain of the vision and the bliss of the self and says you see you had gone there because of your belief that i that would give me pleasure and now and it is the ego that was as tired of seeking pleasures externally is now dying and therefore as the ego dissolves you come into the natural state of the bliss of the self this is pain and pleasure arises because of vibhavik dharma that a religion which is not yours why capital it is the ego is the ego that suffers the pain and the pleasure and you it is that ego the original self is the blissful for, for sure this is is this and so this natural gnan is happening to the one who used to have the old belief forget about the ego anymore the ego is gone after the gnan vidhi but you see in a train you are a passenger are you not when the moment you go outside and so he says is in the and so, and so now you know the wife will say oh my husband is gone but the man will say no i am now a passenger in the train until he comes back home he is no longer a husband is he he when as soon as he comes home then he is a husband so this so the ego as long as you believe that you are doing are your part a part of the wrong belief as then it is that is called the ego and the one who used to have the wrong belief now is getting established into the new awakened awareness that ishbin rain and zile i am the pure soul who should that much you but he has not attained the original exact s capital self and therefore it he from the relative he entered into the relative real and then he is going to go into the real state so 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 says so all this excitement that you have all the joy the worldly joy all the highs and that you get it is called vikalpi so it is so it is dependent on other external forces it is the pleasures of sex is the pleasure of pride is the pleasure of money and all of those things are relative do you understand yes the next question so now the next question is jyotsna shet is coming up jyotsna shet and then there will be vipin desai so these are these people are announced in advance so they can be ready with their questions this is the question and answer session of august 25th 2011 morning session then josna set of london is she here and then there is another one from baroda so is she here is she, yes okay what would you like to ask ma'am have you got the microphone Uh, there probably so many people over there that deep people can't see her yes okay let's go on to the next one then jay sachidanand bipin desai or whoever the next gentleman is many times the grace at the at the word grace comes in in the work of dadashri there must be some grace of dadashri i want to when we talk about vignan the science what is the difference between vignan the science versus the grace is I feel there is some contradiction between grace and krupa versus vignan science. I think there must be some connection. I am a little confused between the two. And krupa says the other shri, we want to understand this science. And there are two ways the science is being used. How is the world running? How is the nature happening? What is cause? What is effect? How? what happens when cause and effect uh, finish that to know that that is called vignan that is science and there is 
and then the self is the Vignan Ganatma. It is absolutely, absolutely the original self itself. And that is where we want to understand the S capital self and experience that. So we want to understand the Vignan Ganatma, the absolute self. And so, and so we therefore, we, if we have the grace of somebody who has reached there, if we have if we have the grace of a very excellent teacher then then the the teacher the student will learn very well but if the student at the back end of the class if he is making fun of the teacher he will not learn anything from the that teacher will he get, will he attain the grace of that teacher whereas the boy in the front who is doing his homework asking all the questions following all the homeworks then the, then the, the 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 teacher will pay specific attention to those people and therefore there will be greater attention on this if he has got a teacher if his, his teacher is if his teacher is a con and a thief and a con artist then by moving around the con man then he will be, learn how to smoke and learn how to become a thief so this is how it is so yes he if he keeps on such a man will continue to look at the eyes of the thief and he will become like the thief he says if the, if the, if the young woman gets the grace of the mother then you know she will she will learn the excellent cooking from the mother the young daughter will learn the excellent and that is the grace of the mother that has descended on the young daughter so 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 yeah so 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 vignan gan so the ultimate grace is to re uh, attain the ultimate uh, blissful s capital self because in the vaishnava dharma there is the pushti mark there is there is the talk about the pushti mark in the vaishnava dharma of the shri krishna but also through vallabhacharya's path yes that is very there but now we have here the living gnani <coughs> here there you have to learn through the by learning at the learning and reading and understanding the books but here you have the living gnani present jay sachidanand next one jyotsna shet is coming up now and then the next one is by from dakhu bai so these are all people from all over different parts of the world who are there and there is a, the, the three sentences that were read this morning of the the, the, the to our, she wants some more clarification of the three sentences to to the, the the deep intense desire is it should, it should we therefore uh, believe that in every era of the time cycle there is a living nani the Bhagavad says forget about the past and the future but at least if even if even if there was there we did not receive it in the previous lives is we not so now Yes, there was Krupadde was there, Srimad Rachandra 125 years, 900 years ago Kundakadacharya, 2500 years ago Lord Mahavir. So, but we did not attain it, did we not? That is the fact. So, there are certain, so 2500, every 2 to 500 there are Gnanis, but the uh, our, it's an exception that Akram has happened after a million years. And they, when I talk about it in the in the Kramik, so there is always this question about is there a living Gnani Purush available? Everybody just keeps on going after Pratyaksh and the Krupadu Dev, like everybody is following Srimad Rajchandra. But if you can see, so the Srimad Rajchandra has himself said that forget about the Mahavir of 2500 years ago and go to a living Mahavir who is currently living. So search for such a one. Search. Go ahead and search for these things. And it has. And he once it was said that so find out. It has been written in the books of Srimad Rajchandra that 50 to 100 years ago uh, later there will be a living nani, and that is exactly search for a living one and then follow his uh, living agnas. Lord Mahavir passed away 2500 years ago and then they believed that he was the living one and then Krupadudev came Srimad Rajchandra 125 years ago so in every life every Gnanis everybody keeps on thinking so how are you going to become free if you just keep get stuck with the Gnani who has already gone away you have to live you have to follow the living Gnani yes you see you see 
see, 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 have you seen, have you seen, have you seen the ants or they are all constantly, when, when not a single ant dies hungry because even the, even, even the ants are finding a, a bit of, of something sweet all over the place also. So if you cannot find it in Mumbai, go search all over. Is there a Gnani around? If there is a Gnani, then yeah, what is a Gnani? The one who is always in the sand, he is in his word, his and his are such that are beyond anything that has been heard in the scriptures and it awakens your own soul. That is the definition of the Gnani. The one who can awaken your soul is your Gnani Purush. Everyone else. So if you, are, if you are with ordinary spiritual masters, then ask them, can you awaken my soul? And if you can, then stay with him. He says, the one who seeks, he will get everything. But the one who does not seek, he will not find anything. So therefore, and so just as between, between two two days there is a night in the same way between two lives there is death and so Dada Shri has said that the the living legend Larry line of living Gnanis will continue says Dada Shri life after life next one then next one is Rakhubai he is from uh, Kampala there are lots of questions about <coughs> real and relative the real question is Whatever is experienced through the five senses, it is all relative. So is the real kind of somehow there in the relative? My question is, he says, now are you, are you not standing right now? Are you not standing because everybody else is sitting? And are you not on the left hand side of me? But you are on, but you are on the right hand side of somebody. So with respect to somebody, who, where are you standing? On the basis of where you are in the hall, that you are here, but if you move away from this thing, you are always there, right? All of the, if all of this in, in the hall moves away, will you move away? No, you will always be there. Therefore, if, you, if somebody is in front of you, then you are somebody behind him. If somebody is behind you, then you are in front of him. If somebody is to your right, then you are to the left. Where are you? Absolutely, yes, you are somewhere, right? But but it is, where are you in the hall? Oh, you are in the you are 50 foot away from this particular wall, that you see 70 foot from that wall, 70, 50 foot front foot, you are standing there. So then you are, so somebody else who is listening will understand, but who are you and where are you? If the wall is not there, how will we find you? So, so these are all, you used to be in the relative, you are in the relative, you are in the, were in the relative, are in the relative and will continue to remain in the relative until your final liberation. But, but, in the relative, where are you? That is exactly where you need to be. If you came early, then you are the first ones who came and then the other ones become late and they become late. But you know, but those who were born in the last life are ahead of you, are they not? So these are all relative terms and conditions too. So Deepak Pai, so if the real say knows the relative, so then the real, so then the real does not need to know. So. So no, but the knower, if does if it does not stop, if it stops knowing, then it, then it it will. It says, if if the lamp it it is useless, is it not? If the, if the lamp is there, you have to use the lamp of the S capital self and the awakened awareness that you are. So therefore, intention is part of the self. See, because there is original or the original element is the S capital self, and it knows the knower who says that this is happening to me and this is happening to me etc the original the original element is not at all spoiled but if the you know if the heart is if if the eyes are diseased the person does not see properly but the man is still healthy is he not so the, in the same way as the wrong vision gets changed as the wrong vision gets converted and comes back to its original state then it will come back to in all the six element, eternal elements, there is now destruction of any one of these eternal elements. Of then, 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 why is there these things? Why is there a problem? Yes, there is. Yes, yes. But your wife doesn't give you food. Don't you have a problem? If you, if, if you, you know, you know. Oh, I. If you, because you are you not bickering with your wife, so. So, as long as the relative problems are there, the relative is needed. But the moment you become absolute, then, but you see, by settling all these files, you'll become absolute. 
it is because we have attained the real that we can see the relative otherwise you were always exercising your husbandness your male chauvinistic pig attitudes towards your wife etc and so how can you see the pure soul of the other person but you have to first see the relative you have to see katya you have to see uve and therefore you can see the pure soul within him and so this is how you have to see and he says you he says in other words that which is seen it is not seen and that which is not seen which is seen okay these are all is once you have the vision the inner vision then you have then uh, don't you know dakhu bhai don't you know the entire complex of this dakhu boy don't you know the, what is going on in his intent you are the knower of his intellect are you not you are knower of his feelings you are the knower of his of his pleasures and pain so when you see both dakhu and you can you see also the who you are in your state then you are in the relative as well as the real by by knowing the relative you are in the real for sure when you when you see the self in all then this relative needs to be just settled with equanimity next one next one from sudha sudhir next one is from sudhir sudha and sudhir the words are so simple that it sounds sudha is girl and sudhir is male and shuddh is pure by the way if I, so shuddh is a lot of difference from sudha sudha there are some questions are such that gentleman from dubai asking uh, yes yeah, so now i have la- i want to ask again uh, there are certain questions so now he is referring to the book of the money for yes is yes, even you so, so now now you know when you she is so, so, so not he is referring from some dharma dhyan is the uh, is dharma dhyan means there is internal conversation there are four steps to is to to the fourth the fourth step is to follow according to agnas and third third thing is the kashayas are nimits to what there are there are four foundations there there are four stages of dharma dhyan there are four stages four foundations of shukla dhyan yes to ultimately this, the the fourth stage of dharma dhyan is to follow the agna of agnani i understand nishchay samkit which is but i don't understand vyavahar samkit by the way he is jumping when you know that the bliss lies only and exclusively in the self that is called nishchay samkit when but you see when you believe that there is pleasure also in worldly life too then there is some there is a little bit of both either you like the worldly life too and you like the self too that is called vyavahar samkit but when it's suppose but the moment you become awakened in the gnanvidhi you have attained nischay samkit which is i am the absolute self so we have to remain in the self and we have to make chandu we have to make uve nada do the relative uh, vyavahar without kashayas yes okay he said so, so now so so therefore he will only proceed when he when you know he when when the kashayas die down then he will feel the 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 sense that there is more peace in in the pure soul and there is more peace in the pure soul but he has not attained the bliss of the self yet but he moves therefore in that direction by following the worldly gurus now i have another one more question yes dada has talked about prarthana which is the extra meaning of prarthana he is jumping into different aspects of the aptavani 4 here and he is saying that prarthana dada has said that when you have very huge knots within you then samayik will melt it but small errors will uh, go away through prayer only and then, and then also and so and and the energies of the non self complex they go away with uh, this that's a pudgalik shakti so no 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 pudgalik shakti means pudgalik shakti all this sexual energy uh, pride energy etc they are all pudgalik shakti they are non there's all these tendencies for sexuality and tendencies towards sexuality and kashayas they are pudgalik shakti and they go away through prarthana and prayers of the nine kalam uh, etc 
but I understand that because it's, but it seems that you know it's making us slip in this thing. We want to rise higher. Deepak Bhai says that the slippery nature, uh, this we have brought with us the the nature to that makes us slip, and in that we have to rise higher. The nature of the world is such that it will make you slip and make you fall into lower into spirituality. When when your nephew comes here and he says, "Oh, mama, oh, mama, my," so he respects you. Should you not keep the separation that he is saying this to? So there, not to me. Otherwise, oh, but but if you say, "Oh, if you get melted by saying, oh, he is calling me with respect, mama, 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 mama means, uh, mama means uh, mother's brother," and uh, this was and so mother's brother. So in other words, yes, yes so. But you know, the moment you become the wife or the husband, don't you not suffer? Therefore, so constantly your roles are changing. Do not become those roles. Do not become those roles, and therefore you. And if you do not become those roles, then you will not suffer. On Sunday, oh, what are you making samosas? Oh, bring, bring nice crispy samosas, hot samosas. I haven't eaten anything today. I want to eat at home because the wife is making samosas. And so the moment you said that. But then, at that time, you can have in the awareness that Sudhir is hungry. Sudhir is uh, Sudhir is salivating in the mouth. Sudhir is going to eat some good meal today, etc. Keep the separation. So then, and so the subtle uh, subtle veils are caused by the words that are used and the lack of the upyog. But let us right now just move into the five agnas only and move higher in that way. We should we should not call vyavasthit shakti as the energy that makes us slip, does it? No, no. This is with the, the what what was bound in ignorance. Then when the vyavasthit gives the result, it may make you slip. But at that time, you have to remain in your awareness. But if yes, but if you if prarthana and prayers are is very but five agnas is the greatest thing that you have that will avoid you slipping into. That which unfolds, but what you do? Oh, this man made me sleep. I'm not going to have any relations with him. I'm going to go away with him. I'm not. I'm cutting off my relations with him, etc. Is the wrong approach. But so, so that is where the prayers come up. You see, because the because the intellect when it rises, because the ego and intellect complex will continue to bother you. Therefore, to convert it from the negative towards the positive, the prayers are there. The prayers. Why? Otherwise, otherwise, the intellect will not let you come to, to rest. It will not let you come to harmony. It will guess concern. So, therefore, it is so. Okay. Now, next one. Deepak Bhai is asking a question now. Now, Magan Bhai Solanki is asking a question to our Gnani Deepak Bhai of Akram Vignan. That is who you are seeing for the new ones. This is the direct path of self-realization. Uh, thousands have gathered here in India in Adalaj. What would you like to ask, Jay Sachidana? They have. What happens? Mudhat from Mudhatma, the unaware soul to Shuddhatma, and having become the pure soul. Now, when's the? I was. And now I want to understand that is what this this knots that are there within inside. And then, and the self, which is beyond all adjectives, achyut, beyond nothing can touch it. But that, despite that, why did it arise? Why did it become vibhavik? Why did it become deluded? Why did the Lord of the fourteen worlds become del? What are you going to do? It has happened, isn't it? Isn't that reality? We, despite having these infinite energies, why did? You know, the, why, Deepak Bhai says that he may be the champion of the world, he may be the boxing champion of the world, but if he slips on a banana peel on a uh, on the footpath, will he not get hurt? Because why did it happen? Is it uh, why did why he may be a boxing champion, but if he but if he if he slips on slippery uh, uh, so soap uh, on a footpath, will he not get hurt? So why is it? Why is there so much play into the non-self complex? Deepak Bhai says the answer is Lok Sangya because that's what the world teaches you. You know, when you became 25 years old, did they, they not tell you? Oh no! If seven people will say you are supposed to get married by the time you are 21, but you didn't get married, what's happening? How come you you can't find a girl? Your four years have gone, and therefore the problem starts because the world wants you to get married, and that is the kind of knowledge that you have. So this world gives you 
the gift of ignorance, knowledge of ignorance only. So this is how it is happening. It's, it's in other words, it's, 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 you know, he was, it's, it's, so he, somebody was carrying a goat, but you know, everybody says, oh, how come you're carrying a dog? How come you're carrying a dog? And so he says, three people, uh, three people told him because he was blind, and but he was carrying, carrying a dog. Why are you carrying a dog? In fact, he was carrying a little baby goat. And when three people told him, then he threw away the goat. And now all of Sudhirbhai is asking, everybody is asking these questions. I feel, I feel uh, yes, uh, it is your grace that we are getting all the answers. Jai Sachidana. Next one, okay. Next. We are talking about the intense desire to attain the Self. In that one, three sentences, earlier this morning, sometimes we, in in, in ignorance, they haven't no, not heard anything or known anything about the self. But but no, of course, but you know, if, you're, if you have not seen the north direction, but if you are in the south and if you get a lot of beating in going the south, will you not try to get out of it? And that is what the human beings of the world. And then they hear about uh, the, no, the, the self with saints. And they say they oh that this, they, the real they hear the sentence that the real bliss lies in the self only, and therefore they will try it seeking in that direction. So gnanis, uh, gnanis, and the satsangs of the satsangs of the saints lead you towards the gnani, who, who will ultimately liberate you. And then as sooner or later, by listening to all of these uh, satsangs of that are available, they will all recognize that the, all the pains in life. Uh, you see, he is in the relative, but originally even such a one who is suffering, originally he is the self only. Uh, he is the pure self, he is originally, really he is the pure soul only. But you know, because he is deluded and because he does not know who he is, he continues to suffer. But this is, he has come into the Vibhavik Bhav, I am Akshesh, I am over, I am Jeff. I, therefore, I need a wife, I need a home, I need all of these things, I need this, I need this. But when he, when he becomes fully aware of who I am, then, then it, it goes away. And that, you know, so there are all kinds of intentions that arise on the path towards liberation, some certain mark, but then, but there has to be development. And once there's, a, when then, when he comes into the development, and as a human being in India. And then, uh, then there is so much suffering, and then there is he constantly is exposed to the talks of the saints all over, and then he starts thinking about the higher issues of liberation. Okay, next. There is a, there is a, a there is a relative relative, and then he goes into the real relative. A relative is the original thing, and uh, this. This man is good. This, this is a good man, therefore this man is the thing. Okay, it's, it's the good man. So the first thing is the adjective and the second one is the man is the real thing. And so, so by remaining in the relative, he is seeking the real. Therefore is the relative real. And then for us, we, that is a karmic path. Whereas for us, it is the real relative and we have attained the real. And we are now dealing with the relative. Now next one, Kruti Shah. Huh? is the question from Kruti Shah. Is, is, are, are all the questions gone or shall we continue? What would you like to ask? In the relative religion, we there is beggary. We keep on asking, I want this, I want this. Uh, in the relative, we are that the book says there's nothing wrong. It's a relative that that is not called. It is called vidhi. It is it is not called begging. If he is asking for something higher, that is not called begging. It is called it is called uh, prayer, prarthana, and it is called aradhana. It is it is called devoted moving in that direction. Because we cannot become free from our own. Uh, 
when you are yearning for something of the S capital self that is not called beggaring, you know, nine kalma is not called beggary. Uh, you know, to ask for the energies of the self that is not called beggary. But no, here, yes, we have to ask for something for liberation. But you know, here you don't ask for, oh, let my father become healthy. That is not. Yes. Yes. But you know, so what, when, when you want to become free from your files, that is also, that is not called beggary. That is the, but so if you call this beggary, then where will you remain? You, you have to say that I want to go to Mumbai. But once you remi reach Mumbai, then, then you do not have to worry about. So, so, so you have to understand. Next one. Chandrakant ATPL and before that one more person was asked to uh, uh, relay his questions. Where is he? Gadvi. Ch okay, Chandrakant, okay, you take. Yeah, I feel that before that I was, I was into, uh, that my chit was in man only, pride only, but now it was that I was in rich man, rich pride. Sup, rich, rich pride. I used to be. I used to go up and down. Then, then, then I realized royal man. These are all terms of niruma. Rich pride and then royal pride. These are all terms uh, in subtle aspects of pride. Let today we are going to do the samaik. On the today samaik is where does insults and when and when you are slighted. When where does where does your pride get hurt? In cases, if somebody if somebody says, "Hey, Uwe, you messed it up. Hey, Nada, you spoiled it." At that time, if you, you will not the discharge ego receive it, and so will it not will learn, will not the discharge ego react? What the hell does he think? What they don't want to do any work, and yet they continue to blame me. And so this is where. So you see, the pride will arise. And today in Samaik we will dig. And so, apman no duk hej man nibok the. The, the the suffering of insult is verily the beggary of pride. The suffering of insult is verily the hunger for pride and uh, respect. You see, the moment this is, is, is because, and so if so if you get if you, you know, it says who is being insulted? Chandrakant. Chandrakant. So then why are you trying to protect it? it says why are you trying to protect? Why are you trying to protect the neighbor? Uwe is being insulted. Why do you try to protect Uwe? Let him be insulted. Katya is being insulted. Why do you try to protect her? Uh, yes, yes, yes. So these are the mistakes that we enter into and this is why this is... We do not want to really... We, I, we, the, we, should, we should be grateful to the one who has insulted us and who has slighted us, who has, who has given us words that make us suffer inside. Next question, what would you like to ask? Please speak up. And oh, this is, uh, Gross events, subtle events and events of the speech are of the non-self. Let it be, remain established within my heart, my Lord. This is the children. And then the next one is, let me not interfere. Let me remain as the knower and seer only. So has it not been said, these are all these uh, such situations. So, uh, are separate from the self and they are uh, dependent on some other energy. What can we do if the electricity goes away in this hall? Yes, so, so then we can, so, they will, so then at that time, should we not at that time? So all these circumstances in life are under the influence of Vyabhasit Shakti circumstances, scientific circumstantial evidences and they are of the non-self and they are uh, dependent on the non-self and grant me the energy to remain as the knower and the seer and not to interfere in all that is happening. Jai Sachidanan says the uh, lady, mother lady. Next one. Uh, uh, is it Chetan Shah? Well, the question of Sudhir Bhai and talk about Dharma Dhyan in this, and you also said that Dharma Dhyan and when I look at the discharge of Chetan, psychiatrist here in Ahmedabad, in in that discharge through the mind, speech and body, there are there are evidences of Artha Dhyan and Radha Dhyan, adverse meditation. And until until I could, uh, convert it into Dharma Dhyan, uh, and I and it and it happens only on the basis of awakened awareness. 
can we say that mahatmas are in dharmadyan yes for sure and what happens when it's all over says deepak bhai at that time at that at then that time there's so many gnes in dot there's so many yes i do remain that i am pure soul at that time but deep down your intention to do pratikraman is what really makes you separate from them no matter how much somebody might violate you do you feel like uh, getting back at him or her that is that is why dharma dhyan has started within mahatmas in fact mahatmas really are in dharma dhyan and that artha dhyan and radha dhyan are the results that are happening in the unfolding discharge of of the mahatma the nada the uve the priya the jeff etc so so they are constantly had the bhav pratikraman and bhav uh, bhav pratikraman is constantly helping so why do you say it is pending then and because of the lack of jag- jagruti because of the lack of a uh, uh, awakened awareness why one hurts somebody else in discharge and that is why we say that it is pending but uh, but if there is correct uh, if dharma dhyan is there what the correct dharma dhyan means correct dharma dhyan means i do not want to hurt anyone and and so so no no since this can say this is this meditation state is has opened through the has opened up within us through the intention only as it is is it will it come as, as at the end of the result of the uh, of it all no 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 it is your state but it a part of it is part of it is the major part of it is the part is result of grace that is happening in the gnanvidhi and furthermore your awakened awareness and purusharth progress as the s capital self is needed through the purusharth of the five agnas and the attention to these matters out of 3000 there are only uh, you only have five or seven sticky files and so they don't they are rest don't give you any kind of hurt to you and you don't hurt them but it is this sticky files that are the ones that you need to but even at the end of all even in the sticky files you are very much aware and therefore you so when i look at the discharge effects results the file there is there is uh, the greed there there is pride there big knots of that and so if i do not have any awareness in that then and hours go away because i get involved in greed and in pride and so i look like i felt like i've been swept away in that but then but then but because of this uh, because on the awakened awareness i understand he says yes 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 but it's you says so as soon as you become aware you need even if you have lost a lot from the bag that you are carrying you can certainly get get it all and cover it up or not but i want i want to know whether i will have to remain and purify every little evidence in life where i am the continuous knower and seer the deepak bhai says yes yes whatever has been stuck will definitely get unstuck and you will be able to see that that stage is going to come at a much later advanced level of awareness but right now please know that you right now your work is to become free from the kashayas and the knots of kashayas that are within and then the subtle subtle the small junk of kashayas that is left within will also be seen and go go away it will definitely come and it will it has there is no go but for that particular state where you will be anantagne one janvama parinamali in other words in in every aspect of that which is to be known i am the absolutely pure one and that awakened awareness remains continuously and in an uninterrupted manner that will surely come that will surely come next one okay now okay now let us go we will take it next in the evening in the afternoon session now let us now talk about the samaik session now the samaik said there is a very nice work here in the samaik uh the andada dada has talked very beautifully in this aptavani i don't know which page he is going to refer to the 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 thermometer of religion the thermometer of religion uh and uh, it is the thermometer of religion is the heading as if somebody tells you and if you get to hear 
if you have not heard it it doesn't bother you but if somebody and if you hear it that that uve is stupid but but you see it's going to but you know what the father-in-law is in the other room but you see the two daughter-in-laws are saying the father-in-law is stupid such and such as long as he does not get to hear this negative talk from the two daughter-in-law is fine but the moment he hears it then the clash will say why because it says he's telling me who is he does not have the awareness of who is this who is saying it who is this being say, said to who am i in this why did she tell me this why did she say, say negative things about to me etc and wherever this happens to you and through this in life wherever you felt slighted in your life because you got to hear, hear something through the somebody has give, insulted you directly openly or somebody you have hear it indirectly or somebody else gets more more uh, more praise than you do and so 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 then you say so you feel like you are getting less of it and so and in in any way if there is any kind of suffering so then it, it, it the suffering is because deep down inside he is hungry for pride he wants to be respected and so and because some as long as I mean, many people say as long as all i need is love you know if you talk nicely to me i'll be fine don't do you want do you 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 know i i it'll be so nice if you talk to nicely to me my dear but actually really he, what he's saying is please stroke my pride you know but you know he is so hungry to for respect and so this is the man this is the mind and they have to, you know everybody else is being recognized and you are not getting recognized and you know you're getting tremendous amount of satsang but if you have told that in the evening you don't come don't come because in the satsang because you're not allowed to come in the satsang so three days i've been left out because then 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 later on when says oh this but this you are being specifically asked to come with deepak bhai then you'll feel so good you see so in other words you know you're going high on the roller coaster so deep down inside it is man only that is happening right it is because of mind in so but for three days because you were told to stay away from uh, him in his face sir so then then you will suffer but the moment you say no you are called specially to see deepak bhai then immediately you'll feel think okay, that's right ajit jani is me ajit patel is that is ajit is that if there are two ajit janis then you'll suffer too right so the nature of the ego is such that it is it is it's continuously and perpetually hungry and therefore it wants to and so it it oh you yeah, it's it's antenna is towards where can i get more of these things where can i go yes you know anger Ganeshless is, is you know. Is in other words, in us, in other words, this is how it is. Is supposing, is if that, is so. So it is. If the same machine has been applied, the doorbell machines have been inside. If this is, yes, this remote signal electronics are such that some somebody rings the doorbell far away, your doorbell rings too. Similarly, you are your. you know you are you know so you, you so you react unnecessarily somebody else is being addressed and therefore you are the one who really so the nature of the ego needs to be understood then and therefore he cannot stand being insulted or slighted this is the weakness of mahatma says dadashri so naturally so when nature breaks your ego when naturally you are being derided naturally you are being disparaged naturally you are being slighted then it then the disease of the ego of pride is being is 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 healing and therefore you should allow it to heal when you believe that i am right uh, then when somebody says you are wrong then you will suffer and therefore you really need to uh, you need to get uh, you need to be very happy when your pride sense is being broken the one who is being insulted is not i i am pure soul and i and when there is suffering uh, happening then i need to enter into tap or penance and the nimit is uh, flawless i need to and, and then and that he is flawless he is he is to be appreciated and they, by it is through this energy there will be the energy of the bliss of the self will rise and therefore then you will start beginning to realize that the real bliss lies not in being respected or appreciated but in the bliss of the self only but so let us investigate in our life 
where we blame others because our sense of what we are doing or what am I, who am I in the relative world is somehow upset. So this is, let us do a very great Samaik today on Maan, on pride. This is, uh, this is Samaik is on the Nimit of the Parushan. This is a collective Samaik. And so whenever there is this presence, the one can do a very beautiful Samaik. So please do the Samaik. Please do not walk away from here. You know, because just because, you know, because you're hungry and you want to go there and you will, if you go there, you'll have to stand in a long line over there. Instead, if your health permits it, sit here and, 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 and because, yes, yes, the older people will not get affected by the insults, will they? Yes, even the old man will get insulted, right? Even the old man will complain about his daughter-in-law. So, so age has got no, no barriers here. Everybody gets hurt as far as the pride is insulted. Man. This is, you know, an old man, when his son does not behave and believe and, and follow him, then he will go into so much suffering. So, these are all evidences of the pride being, uh, being affected and the pride rising and the respect. Uh, and so, all, so, but you know, now we are in the, all of the same goal. It's, we have to remain, we have to keep it separate, keep file one separate and enter into the mode of penance and find out which particular aspect of pride I am correct. Therefore, means everybody else is wrong. I am clean, therefore the other one is unclean. I see, I am, I, I am straight, I am, I, am, I am honest, the other one is crooked. So, so, so solve it through the knowledge of the self only and if you cannot do it, then keep it separate. And then today, if you cannot do the Samaik, then say that to recognize that file one was the one who suffered today. And he, oh dear Dada Bhagwan, grant me the energy to remain in the energy of the penance, uh, of the separation. The, uh, this is happening to file one. This is not happening to me. Uh, I'm I'm beyond it all. So today, if somebody is, you know, just look for five people to insult you, insult you every day. If everybody. If everybody insults you five times a daily, then you see, then uh, then your work is done. Find out and l look for people to insult you. So so that means uh, look for, you know, look for the uh, vidha. The self will not express unless you are insulted in a heavy manner. And only when you dissolve the insults through the knowledge of the S capital self will you rise very high. And the higher the, the, the weight of the pride, the more he will get hurt. The lesser the weight of the pride within, the less hurt he will be. Uh, just outside Vatsalya, because of the heavy rain, one tree fell. Everybody just cut off the tree. And, and so they cut off all the extra limbs, but, and then, and so. Yeah. <sighs> So then I realized that when nature really just collapses you, then the, the other people will also cut away the rest of your pride issues. And so then naturally, 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 then they will, naturally, then they will lift you up. And so the tree lifted up itself because the lift, the tree that fell, they, everybody, they cut off all the branches and then they lifted it up. And so that is in the same way. And so, so, so this happens to the one sense be one sense living life, the tree, and so it happens to the people with the five senses. First, there is the big, the big blow, and so it totally crashes your ego. And then, when your ego is really down, then the world will attack you, and and also beat you down to earth. And you need to take very valuable opportunity of this, and let it just happen. And you know, these people will say, "Oh no, 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 no." These people, you know, then the people will say, no, 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 you know, they even just, you know, the, the tree will not complain, will it, that they've cut off all my branches. But here, oh, you know, if they touch you and think, I will never forgive you, you see. But, but no, 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 those people will go to moks and you'll be stuck around here. So, this is, so we need to remain in the awakened awareness of the self. Yeah, if they, if they, if they, Whatever negative, whatever negative mistakes they point out, whatever, however they hurt you, etc. Uh, why is this happening? This is, this is, 
Okay, this was the unfolding event of the subatomic particles within and the external ones matched it and that is why the insult happened. That is why, and so we need to really kind of, it is only when the bitter comes in front of you that you will really be able to remain in the bliss of the self. When the life is very pleasant and the goings are good, it is very difficult to remain in the escapital self, awakened awareness. So, but right now, if you see somebody at fault, when the bitter pills are coming in front of you, when the bitter fruits are unfolding in front of you, at that time it is very critical that you can remain in the awareness of the separation of the S capital self, apply the keys of the knowledge, see the other person as flawless and enter into the penance mode. So let us do an excellent Samaik today and we will do very beautifully. And there is no way escape without doing these things. Whenever when we will have, whenever you enter into the awakened awareness, this is the Purushat that is needed. And there is no escape from this without doing these things. The complainer is the very one who is guilty. And the one who complains is the guilty one. So, so, so the one, by complaining you are, com you are creating more problems. Let us understand this ego which tends to complain, attack, revolt, uh, bicker, throw temper tantrums, etc. And to go on top of it, let us recognize this ego and then move forward with it. So okay, let us do a very, very nice vidhi now and let us remain aware and awake and let us look at those evidences in life wherever where, uh, this happened, we let us clear them up. The, say, dear Dada Bhagwan, Samaik starts, it's the self within, O oh Lord uh, Simanda Swami Prabhu, with the exact applied awareness of the pure soul, Shuddha Pyog, through close files, wherever insult has happened, uh, accusations have happened, all those insults and accusation events, l let me set them in Samaik, and to see the nimit as flawless and during the insults the ego is burning the pride and the respect is burning and to remain in such awakened separation awareness to, to remain in the uh, penance and to dissolve the knot of pride let me do such a samai grant me such energies my lord I surrender the mind, speech and body. All illusions associated with this name of mine. Bhav karma, charge karma, dravya karma, subtle discharge karma, no karma, gross discharge karma. O Dada Bhagwan, the pure soul within me, you the fully enlightened one, the fully enlightened Paramatma, I surrender them all to the divine feet of the fully enlightened one, Lord, within my Lord. I am pure soul. Ich bin reine Seele, ich bin reine Seele, ich bin reine Seele, ich bin reine Seele, ich bin reine Seele. I am pure soul, 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 I am pure soul. May should that mahu, 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 that machu, should that machu, should that machu. Shut that 
शुद्धात्मा छू शुद्धात्मा शुद्ध जय सच्चिदानंद जय सच्चिदानंद गो डीप इन टू द सामायिक and make this a permanent samayik this is worth repeating again and again and these are the kind of mistakes that make you miss your awakened awareness and only when these mistakes go away then you will be able to become free from it jai sachidan jai sachidan end of session 2 day 1 parayan aptavani 4 august 25th 2011 morning session afternoon session follows thank you jay sachidan shudhatma bhagwan everybody